Okay, this week's tool we're going to use is called Tryant. And Tryant is basically a website that takes released test questions from every state's released test questions, correlates them to a standard, and pops them into one massive database. This is really nice for being able to come up with some standards-based, standards-targeted uh, quizzes and practice questions. Um, to log in, your username and information was sent out to you um, by email in September, I believe. Um, so to find it, you can go into your mail and do a search for just try and, and it should pop up with an email that was sent out that gives you instructions and a link on how to click and how to activate your account. Once you do that, you'll just log in to tryand.com. And on Tryand, when you first log in, you'll get a screen that looks kind of like this that is not very user friendly, it's not very helpful. Um, and that's the biggest complaint we have with Tryend at this point is it is just not really um, user friendly. It's really tough to um, kind of navigate, it's not very intuitive, but the content that's on the page is really impressive. Um, so when you get to this page, if, or if you ever get lost, you're going to start off by going to test. Once you go to test, um, you can look for a keyword, or you can um, search for uh, a specific state test. You can search for a specific subject or grade level, um, and create a new test. When you create a new test, it pops up with um, this interface right here, and it has a place that says add another item. When you click on add another item, it pulls up a list where you can actually search by standard. You can go by Tennessee standard or Common Core. Um, going by, since we don't know what standards we're using now, um, we're going to go to Tennessee. Language Arts, 8th grade, because that's what I'm comfortable with. And it has our old SPI standards listed. And what we'll do is if I pick one of those, say I pick uh, Demonstrate Control of Standard English Usage and search, it's going to come back with 659 results of test questions that matched that standard. I can then go through this list and I can add items to the test. Um, if it's an item, especially in language arts, an item that has a passage attached to it, I can add the item to the test by itself. I can add the passage in this one item to the test. Or I can add the passage in all the items that were associated with it on the release test all in one place. Uh, depending on how you're designing your test and what your philosophy is, um, that'll determine kind of which route you go. Um, in the end, once you've made your test, it builds it all um, here in a form that can be printed out, it can be sent to a PDF, um, and also has the items aligned to standards. So if you're coming up with a key or a grading scale that is standards-based, you can use this uh, key to line up answers and questions with their standard. At this point with Tryend, um, the best way for us to use it is probably uh, with Scantron. Um, to be able to use it as a graded online test, we have to uh, do a lot of work importing things, uh, entire class rosters uh, through their system, and it's been kind of finicky getting it set up. Um, but in general for right now, it's a great use uh, to use it as a test bank. Uh, come up with questions. You can either um, come up with questions and put them into Blackboard uh, manually, um, or you could make a PDF and put it in Blackboard and have students answer it on a Scantron, uh, or you could just print paper copies um, and go that route.